In this lesson, we're going to be learning how to sync an animation to the scrolling of the page. For this, we're going to start off on lottyfiles.com and find our animation. So I'm going to head over to the lighthouse animations. Uh, this one is this one works really well with scrolling. So once you've found your animation, you can click on interactivity, and it loads up a bunch of examples of interactions that Lottie Interactivity offers. So, as I said before, Lottie Interactivity is actually made by Lottie Files, and Lottie Interactive, which we've been using in all the previous lessons, was made by me. And so now we're switching over to Lottie Interactivity to sync the Lottie with the scroll. So for that, you can find the generated code here. And the first line is actually what you need to include into the HTML. And then the second part is JavaScript code. So yeah, we're going to copy the HTML Lottie player tag and head over to our web page. And on line 83, we've got the lighthouse section. So we can just paste that in. Um, I'm going to change a few things. So first of all, let's change the ID to uh, Lighthouse. Actually, I'm going to call it Lottie Lighthouse. And you can use the assets on the website, uh, but I've actually downloaded them and got them in the local project. You will also have them locally if you download the project in the animations folder. Um, and this can speed up load time, so I'm just going to do that. And then we need to find the second bit of code. So let's copy that. And as you can see, we're not copying the script tags because we set up our website um, to actually have our JavaScript and our HTML separated. So if you didn't follow the setting up, uh, video. Basically, we've got a file called interactions in the JS folder. So that's where we're going to put this code. And now we need to change the ID. Uh, so let me just find the lighthouse again. There we go. So this needs to match up with the player here. So this player ID needs to be equal to the HTML ID you set here so that it can find it. And then let's see how that goes. Okay, uh, let's reload it. Okay, okay. Oh, we've got an error. Uh, we've got an error because I put the wrong path. All that suspense for nothing. There we go. And that's pretty well linked up to the to the scroll of the page. That's looking really good. And I'm going to try and center it. So let's try and figure that out. Uh, Lottie player. Okay. I'm going to add. Actually, let's go. I'm going to do it in the HTML. Let's try and center it. So uh, what we're going to do is just jump that, move that, and oops. Uh, let's add a class. And because we're using Bootstrap, we can do justify content center, and we might need to add some margin. Okay, and let's do, 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 do m auto. So that's just margin. If you're not using Bootstrap, that's the m auto is just the equivalent of margin auto, and justify content center is justify content center. It's the same thing, uh, and that's how to get your Lottie animation centered. 
and synced up to the scrolling of the page. And as you can see, the Lighthouse really lends itself well to this type of interaction. Lovely, that's it for this one. Class for today is now over. If you would like to be notified when the rest of the class is released, subscribe to the SV Genius YouTube channel and check out my socials in the description box below. Alright, have a good day and see you in the next class.